Guys, <laughs> so in my last video where I overanalyzed um, the crumbs that we got for Bridgeton season three, and since then, there has been a release of one more clip that is a Canthony clip. We've gotten two mini interviews and, and we got like a mini 30 second tease on character profiles where we got to see our leads and the mirror. <laughs> so I just thought I'd use this video and my time today to overanalyze the part two because I have a feeling that April is just gonna be a fuck ton of little little teases that we're gonna get along with the teaser trailer and trailer. Hopefully we get the trailer soon. I'm thinking April 6th. That's like the word around the streets. Whatever we do get, I want to document it. I want to talk about it. I want your opinions like Without further ado, I just want to like dive into like what we have gotten. Ah, Franny? Like yes. Here I noticed that Francesca did not look happy and my personal opinion on this is the fact that I feel like, like Penn, there's going to be a lot of moments for Francesca where things aren't going well for her. There's a Fife sighting. <laughs> In the distance, there's a Fife sighting and she walks away, walks right to Anthony, is just like, brother, I need a moment, like, let me chill, I don't like this right now. So something is going on with that. And of course, Fife is at the scene of the crime. Another thing that I wanted to note was how mature Anthony seems. He seems a little less like, ooh, riled up when it comes to like his sisters. I find that to be huge character development on Anthony's part. So that's something that I feel Kate brings out in him and him being happy results in that. So more happy Anthony is what I desire going into season three. You know, he's clearly worried, but he's also like, ah! <laughs> I can never get over how pretty she looks. Can I just say her dress? It seems a little bit different in comparison to others uh, that are dancing on the floor, and and I can't help but picture in like an Indian anarchy. I don't know if that's just me and my Indian ass brain, but I feel like it's gonna be a, a nice little merge and mix of everything, which I'm excited for. Why oh, she look at her? Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my god. As do I, and I should like to use that moment to dance with my beautiful. Wife. Yes, Please, yes. <laughs> oh my god, they're oh my god, they're so beautiful. Look at Violet. Look at Violet too. I just want to comment on Violet as well. I feel like she's gonna have a very fun season. Her garden is in bloom, and I have a feeling some fine gentleman's gonna come and pull out the weeds. That didn't go how I wanted it to go. Oh, they're dance! I love, I love, I love. Now here, Penn, like for Francesca, seems like she's not having a good time. I can't help but think this scene here and her discomfort has a lot to do with her own insecurity because I feel like this might be the first dress that she tries on in public that isn't um, chosen from her mom. This feels like it's a first attempt at her expressing herself in her own way and there's insecurity that comes along with that. Just from the way she's just like not comfortable in her own skin. It can either go one or two ways. I have a feeling it's gonna go really bad. This is the same dress that she's in in one of the sneak peeks where she tells Colin off. She's outside, she looks distressed and I just feel like something happens inside or things don't go as planned that makes her come out and then she's in her feelings and then the man that she clearly does not want to see shows up, compliments the very dress that she's probably insecure about and it causes her to be riled up even more so. There was a Reddit post where people were saying that the back of her dress when she walks away from Colin, this is something I didn't talk about in the previous video, the back of her dress was ripped. So I feel like that night, I don't know if Cressida has something to do with it or, or Fife because he's always starting some shit. So I don't know if someone makes the night bad for her or she's just not comfortable and confident enough to carry herself in a manner which is deserving of respect. And 
people take advantage of that. But seeing Penn this way, like, it broke my heart a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Like, look at her! But look at them! Oh, yes, I can't forget the little kiss. I will admit, when I first watched this, I was enjoying Cantony, like, married Cantony. I was enjoying Mar ah, married Cantony! I was enjoying Mary Cantony dancing, being all happy because like they were so rigid and strict and nervous in their season. So being able to see that was something relieving. But I felt like I couldn't fully enjoy it because Francesca and Penn were just not having a good time. My initial reaction, I was all for it. I was screaming. I was not, I was a mess. And you can find that original initial reaction on one of my shorts. Like I filmed the short. You can find that you know, watch me scream. Okay, on to the next one. After the season two rewatch, we got a blooper reel. I was expecting this. A lot of Pollen fans were expecting like a trailer to come out, but I was just going based off of what we got when we watched the first season's uh, rewatch. From what I got from it is that Johnny is just like the funniest and ADHD on crack man I've ever seen. So, but what I really want to talk about, what I want to talk about, is what we got after that. So in celebration for Cantony anniversary, we got a little profile, character profile moment. And it's just like Atsuni whispering up in her ear and then Kate all smiley and then they kiss and ah! Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God. Yo, married Cantony. I don't know. I do you think that like she's pregnant? In this promo, it doesn't look like that's the case. But then again, I'm never trying to be like telling a woman if she looks like she's pregnant. I'm curious to see if like we will get pregnant Cantony this season and how that will play out. But that was kind of like the last little anniversary celebration that Bridgerton did, and I think that was the sweetest thing. A lot of excited Pollen fans were kind of not excited for the Cantony clips and and moments that we were getting but I feel like Bridgerton did the right thing by kind of celebrating that giving them the moment and then passing the torch. that's when we got the two interviews that I absolutely adored they were so sweet the actors seemed like they really care about each other and that's always good to have when it comes to an ensemble show and an ensemble group so having that and being able to see the the couple from the previous season stay on no shade to uh, like for season three it just it was it felt really really nice and Bridgerton allows space for all the couples as we go on and it's not something where it's like oh your season's done so I want to focus on this season now like I don't want that alienation to be happening in in the fandom and I feel like it's already doing that a lot of Cantony and Pollen fans are like head to head and I feel like it happens on Twitter a lot and I hate it because I'm both I love both of them so for example when Pollen season ends and we get Benedict and Sophie the leads for next season are going to be up front and center and like I don't want that repetition of like oh like Pollen season's done Cantony is has been done so long ago like let's forget about them and focus on these two new leads give them the right to exist as leads but then also don't forget the secondary characters I don't know I just I love seeing love past the stages of the initial attraction uh, past the initial finding out that they love each other like I want to see married pollen I want to see daddy Anthony and I've said it time and time again Oh yeah. Those interviews of passing the torch, I feel like like they did it so perfectly and it was so beautiful and sweet because now it kind of created a natural transition into pollen promotion and I'm excited because I in April I feel like we're gonna get many 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 tidbits and I am going to be here for all of them. Okay, so the moment that I have been waiting for. His walk up, like, it ate. <laughs> oh my god, the finger touch. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god. Okay, let me just recover from that. Every time I take a break and I go back to it, it's still... <laughs> 
gets me all giggly. <laughs> So here are my thoughts on that. A lot of people have commented how it feels really soap opera-y and I just want to say that I feel like this is just a clip for promotion. Season 2 when they were promoting there were a lot of clips where it's where the characters were walking into the scene or they were um, turning around making faces at the camera and it was something that wasn't necessarily in the season itself like it wasn't clips from the season. We should go about this clip the same. I feel like it's more of a promotional clip and promotion Promoting with the mirror is really ballsy and I, I, good for them, <laughs> but they better deliver. If they're going to promote us and get us riled up like that, they better deliver. But here's the thing, this is what I think is going to happen. I think Colin is going to have dreams. After him and Penn are getting more and more acquainted, they're having more lessons, maybe they've kissed already, I feel like he will start to have those wildest fantasies. Season 2, episode 8, he was like, no, never. And then season 3, episode 4 or 5, he's like, oh, maybe, and maybe in front of a mirror. We might get to see a dream sequence and we might be like, it might be like a psych for us where like we're watching, we're like, oh my god, it's a mirror scene, but it's a dream sequence and we're not seeing all of it. But here's the cat. I feel like we might get some sort of fantasy that Colin has. So it's planted in his head and in ours so that in June, <laughs> to Lulu in me in June when we get the second part we might actually get the scene that he fantasized about in reality but in part two does that make sense like we might get an insight and the seed that is planted in Colin in the in like the first part if we're lucky and then we won't actually get a like a mirror mirror scene like the actual scene until part two it's interesting that they would promote the mirror scene if it isn't in the first part which is why it makes me think that there is some sort of dream sequence or some sort of fantasy that Colin feels but doesn't express until the part two when he's with Penn and when he's comfortable and when they're in front of a mirror actually. That was like the main thing I wanted to kind of get out there because I also want to see that when I do do reactions for this season I, I want to see if like, I, I hit any of the points. That's pretty much it. I'm hoping for a teaser trailer soon. You'll see me at every trailer. You'll see me bulking all the promotion and I'll probably fangirl with y'all very soon. Again for part three because I have no life. Bye.